This morning in our series, Rebuilding America, we head to Los Angeles to dig into an urban farming program that's helping to feed the community. Crop Swap LA is an organization that transforms people's yards into beautiful produce gardens, which are crucial in neighborhoods that don't always have easy access to fruits and vegetables. Elise Preston shows us this fresh take on front yards. I know the, the grapes coming on the grapevine. Beverly Lofton's front yard is more than just a garden. It's a lifeline. I think this is cabbage. Right here? Yes. The vegetable beds are an oasis surrounded by sun-bleached concrete, parched lawns, and palm trees. And its purpose, to supply Lofton's neighbors with fresh organic fare every month. What is growing here? We have various types of lettuce, some kale. I know there's Swiss chard, I think, on the other side. Oh, that sounds delicious. When are we coming over for dinner, Miss <laughs> Beverly? This well, micro well. farm is also a tribute to her late husband, LaSalle. He was that person, and he would give you the shirt off his back. Very hospitable. Yes. That was the one thing I felt LaSalle could live on through providing food for our neighbors and family, and that's something he would have loved. This is a representation of his ongoing legacy. Jemiah Hargens is the founder of Crop Swap LA. The nonprofit partners with neighbors willing to transform their thirsty lawns into living pantries of fresh fruits and vegetables. We intend to grow food on unused spaces in a way that creates an economic value and keeps that food hyper local and then distribute that nutrient dense food within the community so people understand what's possible. This part of LA is a food desert where grocery stores are scarce. According to a 2022 study, nearly a quarter of Angelinos experience food insecurity, with residents of color three times more likely to suffer than their white counterparts. These are largely black and brown neighborhoods. That's right. Black and brown people are more likely to have health concerns, more likely to have poor diets. Yeah. Is that part of your mission here? It is on the surface to improve diets, to improve health. However, I really want to improve confidence that people can reconnect with nature in the ways that our great grandparents had in the past. Many of them grew their own food and many of us are just separated because of our culture and society these days. Improving her community's health is a strong motivator for Lofton. For one, I know my husband was diabetic, mm -hmm. and so I got to see what that does to a person. And so that made me even more want to be healthy and to also have be there for my great grands, my grands and my great grands. What do you hope is the legacy of LaSalle's garden? I hope 30 years from now we see a lot of these gardens along the street or in the community. That's, that's what I hope. And LaSalle's still with you in this way? Yes, yes. Still feeding the neighbors, yes. A lasting and ever-growing impact. For CBS Mornings, I'm Elise Preston in Los Angeles.